All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with 9.3. So today we're talking about surface area of pyramids and cones. Right, so remember, we've got cones that look like this. All right, and then we also have pyramids. Let's go with this one. That's just the only picture I have of a pyramid easily available, but. All right, so we've got basically the same kind of concept as we did with surface area of prisms and cylinders. Um, but these, I think, honestly, are a little bit easier because there's just one less step, sort of. So the surface area of a pyramid is going to be the lateral surface area plus the area of the base. Right? Since there's only one base for these, we don't have to multiply it by two. Yes, that's for a pyramid. Okay, now we do have to do a slightly different thing to find the lateral surface area this time. Very slight difference, but, all right. Um, anybody still writing from this slide? Basically, you just need the S equals L plus B. All right, are we good? No. No, okay. Write all the with that? no I just put it up there for an example of a pyramid. Okay. We'll like actually work that example out here in a minute. Um, but I just stuck it up there to have a picture of a pyramid. Okay, are we good now? Yeah. All right. So, uh, with a pyramid, to find the lateral surface area... So the lateral surface area is the perimeter of the base times the slant height, which we'll talk about in a minute, divided by two. So this is the perimeter of the base and this is what's called the slant height. Yeah, it's like a cursive L. I mostly. Well, really... It's just like a cursive L. That's what I drew it as. Mostly because if I don't do it that way, my L's look like ones. Um. So, like in that picture of the pier, so the slant height is like from the vertex to like one of the like the edges. Um. So, I'm not good at drawing pyramids, so I'm not going to. Um. I'm just going to pull that same picture back up. So like in this one, I know I'm zooming this in a lot, but like see how this, like it goes from here, like, and it's the slanted side. That's going to be your slant height. So it's like the height of one of the triangles that makes up the pyramid. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's like the diagonal height. So that's the one time that height is going to be slanted. So that's your slant height. Yeah, that's your slant height. So, again, slant height is going to be this part here. And then the perimeter of the base, remember, you just add up all the sides of the base. So you would add up those six sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, like, work this example through. Okay, so I'm just going to shrink that a little bit. Ooh, we'll make this a little bigger so we can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and find our lateral surface area. So, lateral surface area is perimeter of the base. So, what's the perimeter of that base? What shape is our base, first of all? It's a hexagon, right? So, it has how many sides? Eight. Six. Six. 
Eight. Yeah. All right. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, and if they are all 11, what is our perimeter? 66. No. Well, you can do 11 times 6 because there's six sides and they're all the same. All right. Now, our slant height is what? 13. 13. And we divide it by 2. So, we're going to do 66 times 13. Yep, divide by, so you can do 33 times 13, yeah. So you get 429 for the lateral surface area. All right, so that's L. 429. All right, so that's L. So now we have to find the area of our base. So how do we find the area of a regular hexagon? Yeah, so one half times opossum times perimeter or opossum times perimeter divided by two. So is it just one half times Yeah. So shoot. I'm gonna just move that up a little bit. All right, so we know the perimeter already, right? So we're finding the area of the base now. So it's A P divided by two. So what's our opossum? Yeah, so it's 9.5. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Um, so the opossum is 9.5. What's our perimeter? 66. We already found that. Divided by 2. So that makes our the area of our base 313.5. All right, and so what do we do to find our total surface area for a pyramid? Yeah, so we're just going to add the two together. So S equals L plus B. Um, I need a new color. Let's go with it. It is, I think. And it all, really, though, you guys have a good concept of, like, lateral surface area, area of the base, like, of finding that now that you've done it with the prism so much. Um, this is one of those chapters that starts off a little bit more difficult, and it gets easier as it goes. So, S equals L plus B. So, we're doing 429 plus 313.5. Yep, 742.5. All right, so how do we feel about surface area of a pyramid? Um, basically, but we're just going to use circumference instead of, um, yeah. And now, again, it's going to depend on whatever shape your base is, what formula you use. Right, so since this one was a regular hexagon, we use this formula. But if it was like a triangle or a square, you would use those area formulas. All right, so let's go ahead and do a cone. Is everybody good with this slide? Okay. So let's do a cone. Um, there we go. All right, so here's our cone that we're going to use. Can everybody see that? Okay. Yeah, well, we're going to like talk through it and do the example kind of at the same time. So, the lateral surface area of a cone is going to be circumference times slant height divided by 2. Um, yes. Or, well, 30 is your slant height. Yeah, the lowercase l. And that's our radius. So how do we find circumference? Yeah. So it's going to be 2 times 13 times pi. So 26 pi. All 
And so now we can use that to find L. So it's going to equal 26 pi times 30 divided by 2. So, on the test for this, is there anything that you can do with all those? Huh? Is there a paper with all those on it? Uh, yes, I'm going to make you guys one. I had one, but I'm going to redo it a little bit. So. Yes. Yeah, I will give you like a formula sheet to use. Um, I need to get that made for you guys, actually. What 390 pi. I said 395. Oh, no, pi. Okay, and so how do we find the area of our base this time? So our base is a circle, so pi r squared. So it's going to be 13 squared, so 169 pi. And then just like before, s equals l plus b, so we're going to add... 390 pi and 169 pi. So it's the same thing. Yep. So it would be 559 pi. And we found the surface area of cone. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is it for 9.3. Um, I have it in here that you guys can like start the assignment today and like finish it up Monday. Um, did I? So I'll go ahead and write it up here in case any of you want to go ahead and work on it. Um, actually, hold on. I might make you do it. Um, we'll check those. Yeah. Actually. I never got one of those worksheets. Yeah, that's I I know you were working on the other one, so I excuse you from. It. So you're fine, um, unless you want one. Okay, I ask you guys to go ahead and start this because really you can. There's only one, two, three. Not very many problems. All right, it's still third period, guys. All right, well then you can do this for homework. All right, as long as you're doing something productive, like you better be studying, not goofing off. <laughs> Uh, 417. Thank you. Sorry. I thought you were saying page 5. No, page 417 in those numbers. Do you want these? Are you done with it already? No. I'm just oh, I mean, we'll check them on Monday. Yeah, so go ahead and do this assignment today. Um, or if you want to study, that's fine, but you will need to work on it a little bit later. Okay? Just make sure you're doing something productive with your time.